Hi everybody, we are ba back uh, with this uh, CAD prep strategy for 2022 and this is a playlist uh, on which you have already had 4-5 sessions where we have talked about, Minakshi Ma'am has, uh, has talked about verbal there and today's session I am talking about uh, quantitative aptitude and uh, this group of sessions starting from today will, <coughs> will give you uh, insight into quantitative aptitude and uh, the specific focus of today's session is going to be uh, essentially uh, it's part of the seven minutes explainer series also and the session today the specific focus of the session today is basically the quant syllabus so let me just pull out my my clock here put it somewhere to the side and let's start this off so quantitative uh, aptitude syllabus is something that a lot of you keep asking me about ki quants is chapters the chapters of course most of you know from my books uh, so this will just be a repetition of that for you but you keep asking me about which chapters to study, which chapters are more critical, etc. Kisme se kitna weightage hota and all those things. So we'll be dealing with all of that in, in this session. And then we'll go deeper into, in the next uh, sessions, we'll go deeper into other aspects of QA preparation, which you need to remember as you start off your CAD prep. And uh, I have uh, taken note of uh, those of you who are uh, repeaters. Uh, people were asking me this question uh, from the repeaters that uh, they wanted uh, me to actually uh, discuss uh, a, a plan for repeaters so so we'll be having a separate plan uh, for for the repeaters uh, uh, a separate course for repeaters plan uh, separately so but but of course uh, one one key factor if you're a repeater and watching this is of course going to be that uh, whatever i'm talking about for first timers you will try to do it uh, in, the, in the time frame that i'm talking about first first timers if you are a repeater, you have to do it much faster, uh, maybe at around 40% less time than what uh, repeater, that, than what first timers are taking. Just, just keep that in mind and then this course becomes relevant to you also. So, okay. So, the syllabus, what are the chapters to study, what is the order of the chapters, what is the importance of each of the chapters, areas of the portion. So, I don't need to go much. I mean, I'll just go through my, uh, through the organization of my books, uh, the QA for CAD book. Uh, I've divided the the portion into six blocks block one block two three block four block five and block six and the uh, order of chapters or, or the structure of the syllabus will remain broadly the same so only thing while preparing uh, i i suggest that uh, you should take block two three as your first block of preparation and you should take block two three which is the arithmetic area as your uh, as your um, as as one area to prepare so you should not think of them as two different uh, blocks, but but one area to prepare. So although there are six blocks, you basically prepare five areas. So this is the arithmetic area, and this is what you should start with. The chapters here are average allegation, percentages, profit and loss, ratio proportion, uh, interest of course, uh, profit and loss, ratio proportion, uh, time and work, time speed distance, or interest. Here I have forgotten, but that's that's also there. Compound interest and simple interest. And these eight chapters, you will, you will see around eight to 12 questions inside uh, the CAT, uh, even in a 22 question, uh, uh, question uh, paper. And uh, given that uh, number, you know that this is perhaps the most important uh, part of your, uh, of your syllabus. And hence, uh, I think this should be in priority of areas to cover. This should be a number one priority. So when you start off, you should start off with the arithmetic uh, another reason to start with arithmetic is that it's uh, uh, something that you have studied a lot in school, etc. So load, people who are weak at maths can, can actually get their teeth into math, into the quants part of the syllabus by doing this to start with. Or the second area to do is number systems and progressions. Okay, how much time, how much time should I take to do this? Normally, if I'm a, uh, if I'm a first timer, uh, if I'm a first timer, I think uh, uh, something around one chapter per week which means eight, eight weeks to maybe 10 weeks is a good time frame to do this, uh, to, to do block two, three for the first time. How to do it, etc. will come up, come up in, in the next uh, uh, parts of this, uh, of this course and what are the things you need to remember when you're doing it, etc. But uh, order of coverage will be block two, three followed by block one, which is number systems and progressions. And that should take you around three to four weeks, maybe, maybe upper limit of five weeks. And of course, as I said, if you're a repeater, then you, you try to finish this off in around five weeks, this in around two and a half, three weeks. Unless you have been weak at this area, then you might uh, want to decide to give one week per chapter also. So that's up to you. 
एंड ब्रॉडली यूल गेट थ्री टू फाइव क्वेश्चन फ्राम फ्राम ब्लॉक वन सो ये दोनों मिला के तुम्हारा आधा पेपर शॉर्ट हो जाएगा एनी एनी कैट टेस्ट यू डेट यू टेक यू नो हाफ द पेपर ऑफ द हाफ द पेपर यू विल यूल ब्रॉडली नो इफ यू नो दीज टू चैप्टर दीज टू एरियाज वेल सो एंड एंड टिपिकली दिस वंस यू फिनिश ब्लॉक वन दिस इज काइंड ऑफ द हाफ वे पॉइंट और मे बी फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट पॉइंट ऑफ योर प्रिपरेशन बिकॉज बोथ फ्रॉम द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन टाइप्स एंगल ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द नंबर ऑफ चैप्टर्स एंगल यू वुड बी थ्रू अराउंड टेन चैप्टर्स और एंड एंड इवन इन टर्म्स ऑफ टाइम लाइन्स इफ यू टेक एट टू टेन वीक्स एयर एंड थ्री टू फाइव वीक्स एयर समवेयर बिटवीन इलेवन टू फिफ्टीन वीक्स अपर लिमिट फिफ्टीन वीक्स लोअर लिमिट इलेवन वीक्स यू शुड बी फिनिश विद ब्लॉक टू थ्री एंड वन एट लीस्ट द फर्स्ट टाइम द फर्स्ट राउंड एंड जस्ट जस्ट प्री कस वॉट आई एम गोन टॉक अबाउट इन इन द नेक्स्ट लेसन्स यू विल हैव टू डू मल्टीपल राउंड्स ऑफ ईच ऑफ द चैप्टर्स बिफोर यू आर रेडी टू टू क्रैक द कैट एंड हैंस वेन यू प्लान यू दीज टाइम लाइन दैट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आर बेसिकली फॉर योर फर्स्ट राउंड ऑफ ऑफ ईच ऑफ दफ ईच ऑफ द चैप्टर्स एंड देन यू कम टू ब्लॉक फोर फाइव सिक्स ब्लॉक फोर इज जोमेट्री मैंसुलेशन कॉर्डिनेट जोमेट्री यूल गेट बिटवीन थ्री टू फाइव क्वेश्चन करेंटली आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्वेंटी टू क्वेश्चन एग्जाम दैट वॉज कैट ट्वेंटी वन सो यू विल एक्सपेक्ट बिटवीन थ्री टू फाइव क्वेश्चन ऑन जोमेट्री फंक्शंस द ब्लॉक फाइव द सेकेंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एरिया ऑफ ऑफ कैट कैट क्वान्स इन इक्वालिटीज लॉग्स इक्वेश फंक्शंस एंड अराउंड फाइव टू एट क्वेश्चन यू विल गेट फ्रॉम दीज फोर एरियाज so uh, once you finish 2 3 once you finish block 2 3 followed by 1 as i told you half way through the through the syllabus the other fa- half of 4 5 6 you you can you can actually order it in any order that means you can do 4 5 6 you can do 5 6 4 you can do 6 5 4 6 4 5 up to you typical timelines geometry takes around 3 to 4 weeks 3 weeks maybe you know, maybe 4 weeks to to do the first time round uh, this is around 4 to 5 weeks again Four weeks here, four to five weeks here, maybe six weeks here, and uh, the last but not the least, last and the least actually, permutation, combination, probability, and set theory, which is block six, is around one to three questions only, and this is basically a two-week visit. So two weeks may get done. So if you want, you can take six from the middle, five and then six and then four, so that your chapter count will go on. Right? So that's up to you how you how you cover this. So this is the syllabus. and these are the importances of the syllabus now how do you do these chapters what should you keep in mind when you're doing the round 1 and then what does round 2 round 3 round 4 mean uh well while preparing that's something i'll come up in my next videos thank you so much abhi ke liye i'm taking leave bye bye